Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So I'm back vlogging. Oh, I'm crooked. I took a few days off because uh, we've been busy doing a bunch of stuff and uh, it just wasn't that easy to like vlog while I do it, but I'm going to try to come back. Uh, I did, I did paint. I don't know how well you'll be able to see this. Plaid has a uh, paint along and they have all kinds of uh, painting things for beginners, learning different strokes, different, you can paint along with paintings. And I've done this before. Uh, I had a blast doing it. Um, very easy. And they have a new one coming up the beginning of September, which is like cactuses, which looks really cool. Oh, let me fix this. Okay. I think I might have this too loose. Um, and so, yeah, so today... <laughs> I guess I'll explain. So we have a downstairs and I don't know if you guys remember, I used to have my art room in the big like room downstairs. It's like a finished basement and uh, it's humongous. And it was just getting hard for me to walk up and down the steps. So I came up here and smushed myself up here, which made it easier because then I can do dinner and put clothes, like do all, you know what I mean? It just made it easier. Um, and the room kind of ended up a uh, catch-all room, you know, where you just put everything in there. And the other room on the other side was Dave's office. Um, so we were talking and Dave's been going through really weird bouts of depression and just a lot of stuff going on. So the room that he works in, number one is off the laundry room which then makes him feel pressure to like throw loads of laundry in, you know, do that kind of thing. And the room is kind of dark. Um, it has like one window, the sun doesn't shine in there anyway. So I was thinking the one day and I said to him, why don't we move you to the other room and we will, um, put the, like put half of it as his office and we'll make a nice little sitting area and the other half will be where we take our pictures of our thrift store stuff and make it like where we store everything so nothing gets broken. The cats are away from it. The dogs are away from it because um, I know a lot of people are allergic to um, cat hair and dog hair. So like I can put all my stuff down there, my paintings and whatnot when they're done. So nothing gets around them. Cause I really don't let my animals in my art room. Um, my dog sleeps in my one like old fabric bin, but he doesn't come anywhere near my stuff and he doesn't move, uh, until I pick him up and take him out. So, um, we've been doing that. And then I moved the majority of my art stuff that was left down there. I went through it. I got all kinds of stuff given to uh, the veterans and they're coming and picking up a lot today. And I'm doing, going through all my art stuff and that kind of stuff and reorganizing it in the other room where he was. Anyway, when I go down there, I'll do a video and show you guys, but, um, and then I can do my best to go down and do some laundry. I can like throw the load in and, you know, switch it to the dryer. And then at the end of the day, he can bring up the big basket and I can fold it if that makes sense or the next morning. Um, because it's hard for me to do all that, but it'll give me a little bit more exercise. I'm going to push myself to do it. Um, and that kind of thing. So that is where I'm at. However, I found a bunch of the stuff that, um, a bunch of paint rather that I wanted to bring up and, so I thought that when I start that, I will put you guys on the floor with me again and just blab and go through some of the stuff. I need to rearrange some of my shelves um, and figure out a little bit of a better way. Um, there is, I want to make these two dream catchers. Um, I want to make one for Emily and one for my nephew uh, with these feathers and stuff that I saw. Uh, so I don't know how much I'm going to get done today, but, um, I also have my tie dye stuff out. So I got, I got a lot of stuff I want to get done. I don't know. I always say that. And then, you know, and for dinner I am doing hamburgers and I'm doing the cauliflower pizza, which I've been wanting to do for days and days and days. And I just haven't had the chance. So, uh, when I go in there, maybe I will, uh, do, you know, do the cauliflower pizza on, 
or cauliflower cheese bread, I should say. I've done it before. I have a video doing it, but maybe you haven't seen it. So maybe I'll throw it in real quick. I don't know. We'll see. But I will be back in a bit. Um, thank you for everybody who has been emailing me and messaging me where I've been. Uh, it's been a few days, but I'm going to try to do my best to come back and film. And Friday, I think we're going to the thrift stores. So I'm going to do my best to, uh, vlog, which we also did last week. And I don't think I vlogged it much because it was like so hot and miserable out. Um, yeah, so that's it. So I will be back. And I know a lot of you wanted to see some die cut and stuff that I'm going to do, uh, you know, some projects or whatever doing the die cut and things I use. Um, so I will do some videos of that. Um, I might have to set it up on my table out there. We'll see, but I'll be back. Okay. So let me just show you. I have in here, it is riced, uh, cauliflower and broccoli. And I have it in a, like... It's not cheesecloth, it's a bag. I have a bunch of them. And you really want to squeeze out, this is like the millionth time I've done this, but you want to squeeze out the juice. Now you can rice it yourself, you can buy it already uh, riced. And then I have uh, two cloves of garlic, I have Parmesan cheese, I have two eggs and mozzarella cheese, and I'm gonna mix it all in here, add some salt, pepper, I like to add a little garlic powder too. And I'm going to mix it all together and then I'm going to flatten it in a pan. Okay, look at that. I'm going to show it this way, I guess. So you can see it makes a really good uh, sized pizza, pizza crust. I'm making cheesy bread. And so I mix everything together. And you get a million different ways they tell you to do it. I just like to take my fork and flatten it out. Let me go. And if it's a little thicker, I'll just push it to whichever end is closest and just make that crust. And I'm going to bake it 400 for about, I don't know, 15 minutes. I'll set the timer and then um, check on it and see how it came, you know, how it's browning and how it's cooking because then I'm going to take it out, let it cool a little bit. And then I'm going to add some more uh, mozzarella cheese on top. I don't know. I might do, like, because on here, you could put anything. You could put ricotta. You could put more cheese like I'm going to do. You could do a nice, like, homemade Alfredo sauce. Keto, of course. It doesn't even have to be keto. Uh, with, like, spinach and mushrooms and put it on top. Oh, so excited. But today I'm going to do, like, a, a garlicky bread. So I'll uh, show you when it's done. My oven's heated. It's go time. Look at that. Look how good and brown. It was perfect. 20 minutes was perfect at 400. And you can see it's, you know, it's not going to be like crusty crusty at the moment, but I'm going to let that cool. And then before I do dinner, I'm going to load it up with um, just some extra cheese and garlic. And I don't know what veg, if I have mozzarella, I mean, uh, mushrooms or whatever I have, or I just might make it plain garlic bread. I don't know, but I'm just so excited. But you see how you can make this really anything. Um, and it's all keto. So what do you think about that? Okay. This is what it's going to look like before I put it in. I don't really have anything to put on top, but I'm not worried about it because it's going to be delicious. I just did parm and then mozzarella cheese. I've made this before, but We'll see. We'll see uh, if I can get a little bit crispier this time. Okay, so let me show you. That is how good it looks. All it is is the cheese, and you can see it's like a soft pizza crust, so it's not really like crispy underneath, but it's going to be delicious. So this is you're gonna hear my dogs. This is broccoli cauliflower cheese pizza that I made home today.
It's like everything's in high definition because you got the backlight on everything. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like the, how the poles are like standing up because they're being lifted over there. Okay, so I put in a video, there's Dave back there, I put in a video of, you fix your hair. I had to fix my hair, I put in a video of the, uh, what this crazy weather is doing, oh my goodness, my face, look how red it is, oh, flare up for sure, look at that, anyway, so, I hope you guys have a great night, and, uh, nothing real exciting today, so, I will, uh, I'll get on here and vlog some more tomorrow, I love you guys, and as always, please be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. See you guys tomorrow. Bye.